National City Mayor Alejandra Sotelo Solis is taking part in the UC San Diego Health and Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine clinical trial. It has been a week since we last checked in with her and she joins us live this morning. Good morning to you, Mayor. We saw from your Facebook post that you're feeling pretty good, just a little runny, ro runny nose. So uh, describe um, how things are going. Well, buenos dias, Eric and Stella. Doing great, feeling good, ready to uh, tackle this Thanksgiving week at home, mm -hmm. uh, where many of us should, um, but uh, I'm really feeling feeling good. You didn't have any fe fever or anything like that? Just no, no, no symptoms, no fever, no. Uh, the blood pressure is good. Uh, good. Oxygen level at 99. Temperature's good. So overall, feeling feeling great. So how did this all work? After you took the vaccine, did you have to be quarantined away from your family at all? Uh, no, uh, although, uh, you know, with three kids distance learning, that may be, you know, for some parents, uh, something that they want, may want to do, but it was not uh, mandatory. It was stay at home, do your regular uh, activities. Um, and then from there, just uh, track everything on my e-diaries, which I have been doing. Yeah, I think we we're curious about that part because we were wondering if, it, you know, you don't know if you have the actual virus or the placebo and if you have to quarantine because if you're contagious, if you get the live virus, we don't know. We don't know how that works. Well, well, interestingly enough, this uh, this uh, study is actually based off of a cold virus. So there is no uh, COVID or uh, um, antigens or anything that is COVID related. It is a subset of it. So it's it's a little different from other vaccines uh, that have been put out there. Uh, so yes, it's uh, the symptoms can be similar, but it's not the actual, um, you're, you're not being injected at all with COVID-19. So that's one one myth we really want to dispel. It's not, you are not given COVID-19. Sure. It's okay. very similar symptoms, but this is based off of a cold virus. Gotcha. So uh, look, Mayor, tomorrow we know that um, you're going to be helping people in National City there get into the spirit of Thanksgiving. There's a special drive through event. Can you tell us about that? Yes, well, again, we are in the purple tier. We are encouraging people to learn more about the vaccine. Uh, however, we want to prepare our families and again, give them the tools that they need uh, to fight COVID-19. So tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 12 noon at our library on uh, National City Boulevard, we will be providing COVID-19 safety kits, which includes a thermometer, uh, some hand sanitizer, some wipes and some masks uh, to again, continue to protect our families, as well as uh, turkeys uh, for those families that have a uh, National City address on their ID. Mayor, what is your message for the residents of National City who say, look, you know, I'm still going to spend Thanksgiving with my family yeah. outside of my household. What is your message to them? I would say really rethink it. This is one Thanksgiving and one year where everything has really been turned on its head. <laughs> and really consider staying home and Zooming. We know that um, there are a lot of variables and we want grandma, we want abuelita, we want our ates to be there in the next year. So please uh, stay home. Uh, my family, uh, we have a huge family and we are gonna be Zooming twice on Thursday, one for lunch and another one for the evening time. So if we can do it, I know you can too. Hey, look, there's a lot of doom and gloom out there, but we like to keep things positive on this morning show. So uh, why don't you tell us what you're thankful for here uh, this year? Well, I'm thankful, one, for my family, my husband, my children, um, but I'm even also thankful for my community and humbled every day to be and earn their trust, to be their elected official, and to be the, the public servant that I announced in the fifth grade I wanted to be and uh, the support that I receive every day. And I'm thankful for you all um, in the media who are helping us promote the message to stay safe during this uh, pandemic yeah. and to really help us get the information out that needs to be provided to our communities to keep them safe. Mayor Solis, thank you so much for joining us. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. And uh, it's always great to talk to you. Good to know that you're doing well. Enjoy the holiday. Thank you.